Hi friends. I want to talk all about how to get a month ahead on your bills. We're gonna talk about what that even means. We're gonna talk about why you would want to do that. And then we're gonna talk about how you can do it. So stick around. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. I want to do this video because if you have been around my channel before, if you've watched any of my budgeting videos, then you probably know it has been a goal of ours to get a month ahead on our bills for probably about six to nine months now and we still haven't achieved it. But over that time of talking about this goal, I've gotten quite a few questions about what does that even mean to get a month ahead on your bills? So I wanna make a video talking all about it. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Normally, when you create a budget, you are creating a budget for the income that is going to come in in the month ahead. So for example, I just put out my February budget video. You can check that one out up here, and that was me at the very end of January, planning my budget for the money I estimated we were going to bring in throughout the month of February. Now, here's the thing. If you are someone whose income stays consistent, if you earn the same thing every time you're paid, it's usually simple enough to create your budget for the month in advance. But if you're new around here, we budget almost solely off my husband's income and his income fluctuates greatly. So he could be paid a difference of three to $400 from paycheck to paycheck. And we always have to estimate what we think he's going to earn in that pay period. But ever since we really got into the thick of our budgeting journey a couple of years ago, I've always wanted to be able to get an entire month ahead on our bills. When you are a full months ahead, essentially all that means is that you have an entire month worth of expenses sitting in your account to use to pay your bills, to pay those expenses for your spending and whatnot. So basically, when I sit down at the end of February to create my budget for March, I would be budgeting using the money that I already had sitting in my bank account. So you are basically living on last month's earnings instead of planning to live on the month earnings as they come in throughout the month. I hope I'm making sense here. I know this concept can be confusing sometimes, and I really just want to make sure I'm giving you clarity and not making things more confusing for you. So of course, if you have any questions after you watch this video, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. So the reason it's a good idea to live on last month's income is you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for your paychecks to arrive. You don't have to wait to pay your bills. You can put all your bills on auto pay if you want because you know that money is already sitting in there because you earned it last month. So if I'm going to use February's money to pay March's bills, then there won't be a question of whether or not there's enough money in my account when the bill gets charged. If your income varies like ours does, you don't have to try to estimate. You don't have to wait until that money hits your bank account to see how much you're actually being paid and then go back and adjust your budget accordingly. Come on. Are you supposed to be up here? That is the beauty of being a month ahead on your bills. Let's talk about another important reason why you may want to do this. Not only is it going to make things easier for budgeting, but it actually gives you an entire extra month's protection. So if you've already saved an emergency fund, you may have your emergency fund sitting over here and hopefully, hopefully that is at least three to six months worth of expenses. So if you have an emergency fund sitting over here and now you have an entire month's worth of expenses sitting over here, you essentially have an entire extra month of emergency fund, right? So this is going to give you an extra layer of protection in the event you experience an emergency or a loss of income. In addition to extra financial protection, it's just easier, right? It's just easier when you can budget and plan all of your expenses around money that is already physically in your account. 
You don't have to worry if for some reason a check doesn't clear or you don't have to worry if something got messed up with your direct deposit. And I know those things don't happen often, but if you, like us, are on a really tight budget, if you don't have a lot of extra money at the end of the month and you don't have a lot of wiggle room, it's really just another way to give you even more peace of mind. Now, if you are someone who has a large income, you have a lot of wiggle room, and it's not really an issue for you to plan out your budget budget ahead of time and it's not really an issue for you to try and play with the numbers to make sure everything works out and you have enough to cover everything, then this may not even be something you're interested in. But for me, I feel like it will take even more pressure off budgeting. And listen, I'm four years into budgeting now. Budgeting is simple for me. It's not hard. It doesn't take a long time. It's pretty much on autopilot but I am someone who values my time above all else. And I will do anything I can to <laughs> systematize, to be more efficient, to be more effective with my time and with my energy. So being a month ahead on my bills and being able to put literally every single thing on autopilot each month is a no brainer to me. One of the other questions I get a lot is, what is the order you should do this in? So if Getting a month ahead is a goal of yours as well, and maybe you're early on in your financial journey, or maybe you haven't even yet begun your financial journey. What order should you do this in? So there's a couple main goals you probably have, which would be getting out of debt, saving an emergency fund, getting a month ahead on your bills, and hopefully investing. The order we did things was we saved a starter emergency fund, then we paid off our debt, then we saved a full emergency fund, now we're working on getting a month ahead, and we've been investing the whole time. So if I had things to do over again, I believe the order I would do them in would actually be to get a month ahead first. Because remember, that's essentially giving you an entire month's emergency fund. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't think that's enough, but when you're starting out on your financial journey, that's a lot more than most people save. For example, when we started off and we followed Dave Ramsey's system, we only saved $1,000 for our emergency fund. Beyond that $1,000, we had nothing. Now, if we would have gotten a month ahead on our bills first, we would have had more like $4,000 sitting there in our account, which is four times more than we actually did save. And over the years, I have become a big believer that we should save before we pay off debt. Now again, personal finance is personal, so this is just my opinion. You don't have to do things the way I'm saying. I'm just telling you what I would change if we were to do things over again. First, we would save our full months of expenses, then we would work on paying off our debt, then we would go back and save a full emergency fund of ideally six to 12 months, and we would be investing the entire way. Please understand if you've already done things in a different order, that's okay. Whatever feels best for you and your finances, is best for you and your finances. And the last thing I wanna to touch on is how can you get a month ahead? I have really three main ways for you to get a month ahead. The first one is if you are in the same situation we are, which is we are paid bi-weekly. That means every other week we get a paycheck. That means we get 26 paychecks a year. And we usually budget two paychecks a month. So since most months only have four weeks, that comes out to two paychecks a month. Two months out of the year, you actually get a third paycheck. Now, some people will claim this to be an extra paycheck. It's not really an extra paycheck, but it can feel that way depending on how you budget. So one way to get a month ahead is to take those two extra paychecks and put them in your bank account and save those as your months of expenses, right? So that is your month ahead on bills. Now this was always our plan. When we first decided that we wanted to get a month ahead as our next financial goal, that was our plan but it didn't quite work out as planned. So the entire year went by and 
both times we got the extra paychecks, something came up, life happened. To be honest with you, I don't even remember what we needed the money for, but we needed the money for something else and we did not save it. But you can do it how we've been doing it. And that is, as soon as we cover all of our expenses for the month, whatever is left then stays in our bank account and is allocated towards building our cushion of getting a month ahead on our bills. Now, if I'm being honest, it hasn't really worked that well for us. Again, we have very little extra. If you've seen my budgeting videos, you probably already know that. And you really just want to look at this as you would any other financial goal, right? You just want to give it everything you have. You want to put all extra money to it. Instead of putting all your extra money to paying off debt or saving an emergency fund, you'd put all your extra money towards this goal until it's complete. Now, if you just simply don't have enough extra in your budget, then you're probably going to want to look at ways to increase your income so you can get extra money to save. That may be through taking some overtime at your job, maybe picking up a second part-time job, or starting a side hustle. There's so many different side hustles out there. I'm not even going to begin to try to cover that in this video. However, I did just recently make this video all about side hustles. I will link that down below in the description box and you can watch that when you are finished with this video. But starting a side hustle can be such a great way of earning extra income to put towards your goals. And the last way would be if you have already finished your emergency fund or you have a lot of extra money in savings, you can simply take it out and put it in your checking account and have it be your one month cushion. Please be sure to not do this if you only have a small amount in your emergency fund. I am a firm believer that an emergency fund is such an important part of a successful financial plan. Please do not take the money out of your emergency fund and use it as one month ahead. If you feel like you may not be self-disciplined enough to leave that money sit there and age and actually do its job. So if you have a problem with spending or you have a problem with self-control or you think that you may start borrowing from your one month cushion each month when there's something you want to buy and you don't want to wait to save it up, then this probably is not a good plan for you. It's probably not a good idea because you will just end up using that money over and over and it won't actually be there when you need it for what you need it for. That's everything I wanted to share with you today. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're already a month ahead on your bills and how did you do it? Share with everybody if you have another idea that I didn't mention. Maybe it will help motivate all of us and help us reach our goals faster. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you liked this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week and I would love to see you here next week. Have a great day. Bye. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up.